Hi everyone, what is going on? And welcome to another episode with the Binary Destroyer. Now, if you watched the previous video I uploaded on YouTube, you will see I was talking about the power move strategy or the pullback strategy on the one hour time frame. Now that was a couple of days ago. So I just wanna show you how well that strategy and the binary show it has performed this week. Now, uh, I didn't actually take any trades this week uh, using this strategy. I was basically uh, just watching the markets and seeing how well each setup performed and getting a general idea on how we can perfect this on the one hour chart. So kind of, you know, fine tuning it, you know, having a look at the setups that would have won and the setups that would have lost. Now, uh, I quickly want to bring your attention to Euro USD on the one hour charts. Now, uh, I actually called this setup, I believe, yesterday evening. Now, this happened over today's uh, no, today's Friday. So this setup happened on Wednesday during the Asian session. And we had a beautiful signal appear, which I would say would be a perfect signal using this power move strategy. Now, if you actually look in the Facebook group, just to mind some of these awesome results this week, and strategy is on fire. Um, uh, it goes on to say to 10 nil uh, another one of these members took this setup here now you can see some training going on here yeah so one of the members took this trade here as you can say a nice drop in the asian session and this was the initial signal which i called was here euro usd popped a beautiful setup today on the one hour charts running 30 pips and you can see um you can see the initial uh, setup happening here and now when, it, when my computer decides it's going to load it up so as you can see this was the initial setup that i spotted uh, and i sent the trade out to the bd members and said look euro usd is currently running 30 pips in pof in profit from this beautiful power move strategy uh, and we just go over to the end of the week and as you can see that trade was a beautiful one uh, it's currently running at almost 100 pips uh, 100 pips you see with pretty much no drawdown the price did not go against us now this is what i would say would be a perfect setup on the one hour charts you can see price continue uh, continue to trend up for quite a while then it almost looks like we double topped uh, at the top here you could probably see this more better on the one uh, on the four hour charts but you can see we had a nice double top and then since then bright uh, prices just continue to fall we had a trend down and then we had a pullback so uh, this initial setup would have been here as soon as the uh, two moving averages crossed over and uh, then we got a signal arrow the stochastics confirmed we were in a pullback and then yes you could have just rode this down capturing 100 pips so yes that was the first trade uh, on your USD this week as you can see absolute winner uh, you could literally just trail this down here if you had a stop loss above the moving average you can just continue to ride this down locking in profits and um, if this was me uh, or if this was if, if it if I was trading this on my live account I would probably take profit uh, at this stage I would not or I do not recommend leaving trades open over the weekend mainly because of the gap that normally happens Sunday night uh, you, the market can be very unpredictable especially when market opens Sunday evening so I would normally lock in profits and just uh, close early on this occasion uh, but if you caught this trade that would have been a nice hundred pips now the other setup was um, USD CAD as well we had a nice uh, crossover again now look you can see we've got two nice crossovers here okay uh, this I think this happened on the 3rd of June so this would have happened last week uh, this is what happened this week okay so again you can see the initial crossover here the trend down pullback we had a signal arrow stochastics confirmed the market was overbought and then we could have continued that down and then going on into uh, this week here, uh, we got this signal, I believe, on the 12th. So what was that? 
excuse me, uh, so today's uh, Friday, so that would have been again another setup on Wednesday. Uh, you can see we crossed over on the moving averages, uh, trended up, pulled back. We had a signal here, uh, the stochastics confirmed this. Now this trade did or would have gone against us, but again, like I say, if we have our stop loss below the moving average, just protecting it, uh, you would have had, I don't know, let's say around a 40 pip stop loss. This trade is now sailing nicely 80 pips in profit. So again, if I was trading this live, I would probably take profit here, giving me a nice one to two risk reward ratio. Now the other setup as well that I was looking at this week was G, uh, the GPUSD. Now we actually had a crossover here. Okay, now at the time, well now you can't see the crossover happening. Now when I uh, was watching this trade, this was on the 10th, which I believe, what was the 10th? Uh, on Monday, yeah. So I seen this trade happen Monday evening. Uh, again, I didn't take the trade. Uh, and as you can see, even though this trade did go around 20 pips in profit, eventually the price did go against us and um, if we had a stop loss in place it would have been hit so you might have lost this trade depending if you had uh, locked in those profits as soon as the trade had gone 20 pips uh, but nonetheless anyway the price did come back down okay we did cross over again now unfortunately we did not get another signal on this setup here but if we did again this would have been a nice setup if we got a sell signal around here okay again this would have been maybe a nice uh, 25 pip stop loss with around 100 pip take profit so you know that again is a one to four risk reward ratio now even though i did not take any of these setups i'm pretty confident going into next week that i probably will start to do this on a live account uh, and just seeing how well the actual strategy performs uh, i know a lot of bd members took these setups if i uh, go back here um you can see, uh, if I just get rid of this here, you can see uh, one member here, as you can see, a nice uh, high, has a log in this trade on demo since yesterday with Jamie Palmer. As you can see, this was the initial trade, the EURUSD that I that I called. And as you can see, he's, he's, he's clearly uh, trailing his stop loss there. Even though that's on demo, again, still nice profit, nonetheless, whether it's demo or not. And I believe another member, Jake, also called this epic 140 pip move with EURUSD crashing down. So again, uh, yeah, very, very, look, I caught that with the power move strategy. So again, a very, very successful week with the power move strategy on the one hour charts. Okay, so I hope you have a lovely weekend, everyone. Um, and I will catch up with you next Tuesday for another trading session. So thank you for watching.